What's up guys, Joe from My Tech Jam here, and in this video I'm going to show you how to play arcade games on your Amazon Fire TV or Fire TV Stick. Before we get started guys, remember if you like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below, and remember to subscribe to my channel for more Amazon Fire TV tips and tutorials. So the first thing we need to do is scroll over to settings on our Fire TV then over to device then under developer options turn apps from unknown sources on you'll get this pop-up just click turn on once you're done with that the next thing we're going to do is install ES file explorer so exit back to the home screen of your fire tv and then scroll over to the left into the search section and type in ES file explorer once you have that typed in, scroll down and hover over the words ES File Explorer and click on them. Then click on the ES File Explorer app. And then choose Download. It may also say Get if you've never installed the app before. Once it finishes installing, choose Open. The first time you open up ES File Explorer, you'll get this pop-up. Just click the back button on your remote to close it out. The next thing you need to do is click on where it says new on the bottom of your screen. The easiest way to get over there is to come over to the left side and then come down and to the right. Once you click on that, leave the type as HTTP web and in the path type in https colon slash slash mytechjam.com slash mame.apk. Once you have that typed in, click next, then click OK and then it'll pull up a blank screen. Then you need to scroll down to the bottom right and click on where it says more. Once again, the easiest way to get over there is to come over to the left side of your screen and then down and to the right. Once you click on more, choose open in browser, then choose ES downloader and just once. The file should now start to download. Once it finishes downloading, choose open file, then choose install and install again. The MAME emulator is now being installed onto your Fire TV. Once it finishes installing, choose open. When you get this pop-up, choose yes to keep the default installation path and then click OK. Once you're done with that, you can exit back out to ES File Explorer. To exit the emulator, just click the back button on your remote and then click yes. Once you get back into ES File Explorer, on the left side, click where it says Network, and then choose Cloud. There's a couple of different ways you can transfer your games over to your Fire TV. One of the easiest ways is to put all of your game files into a cloud storage account, and then sync that account up with ES File Explorer, and just copy and paste your files onto your Fire TV. That's how I'm going to be doing it here, and I'm going to be using a Dropbox account. Before you log into your account, make sure all of your ROM files are in your cloud storage account. If you don't know where to find ROM files, just Google MAME ROMs. Also keep in mind that your ROM files should be in zip format. So once you have all of your ROM files in your cloud storage account, click the type of account you have and sign in. Once you have your credentials typed in, click sign in. Then click allow. and then click on your account. Once you're in your account, browse to where you have your ROM files. I have mine in the MAME folder. And once you get to where your games are, hover over them and hold down the select button and select all the games you'd like to put on your Fire TV. Once you've done that, on the bottom, click where it says copy, and then hit the back button on your remote a few times to get back to the ES File Explorer main menu, and then choose internal storage, and find the folder called ROMs, then click MAME for Droid, then scroll down and click the file called ROMs. Once you're in here, scroll down and click the Paste button to put your games into the folder. Now some of these games are going to have artwork files that you might want to add in. As you can see, there is an artwork folder in this directory. These two games actually do have artwork files, so I'm going to show you guys how to add them. I'm going to go back into my cloud storage account and browse to where I have my files. And then I'm going to select them the same way we did before. Make sure that your artwork files have the same names as your ROMs. Then I'm going to scroll down and click copy. 
Then go back to internal storage. Then scroll down to ROMs. MAME for Droid. And this time I'm going to click in the artwork folder. Once I'm in there, I'm going to scroll down and click paste. And that's all you guys would need to do. Once you do that, when you open your game in the emulator, the artwork files will show up. So once you have all your games in the correct folders, you can exit out of ES File Explorer and go back to the Fire TV main menu. To open the emulator for the first time from the Fire TV main menu, scroll down to your apps and games. Then go all the way over to the right and click See All. And then if you scroll down to the bottom, you should see the MAME for Droid emulator. Just hover over it and click on it. Once it opens up, you should now see your games displayed in the menu. But before we play them, we need to change a couple of settings. So click the Menu button on your remote, the one with the three horizontal lines. Then choose Settings, Input, Define Keys, Player 1, and then from in here you can set your controls. The two main controls we're concerned with is coin and start. These two buttons will allow you to insert coins into your emulated arcade machine and then start the game. Also, if you're using the regular Fire TV remote, you're going to want to map the X button and the B button, because the X button is going to be your select button in the emulator menu to open a game, and the B button is usually the fire button in a lot of games. Once you're done with that, exit back out to the settings menu and then scroll down and uncheck the boxes for touch controller visible. There should be two boxes to uncheck and this will remove the on-screen controls. And once you're done with that, you're ready to start playing games. So you can exit back out to the main menu of the emulator and click on whatever game you'd like to play. I will open both games I have here just to demonstrate that they work. When you open a game, you'll get a pop-up like this. Just click the left and right buttons on your remote to bypass it. Also, a side note, to exit a game after you're done playing, just click the back button on your remote and choose Yes. As always, if you guys like this video, hit the like button or let me know down in the comments below. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below, and I'll try to help you out as much as I can. And remember to subscribe to my channel for more content.